Let's go through who is likely to get scars from acne. We have a list for you, and the first one is inflammatory acne. Yeah, so that same principle. The inflammation breaks apart the collagen, and then it leaves either the indent, wrinkly skin. Some people produce too much collagen due to inflammation. Um, so it's lots of different types of scars, but we'll go into scars. Absolutely. Later. Delaying or not treating acne? Yes, That's again, a problem. prevention is the best. When you start seeing that your child or yourself has some breakouts or blackheads, go see your dermatologist. We can start a nice gentle cream and get a big difference, a major change within a couple months. And there's no downside about using those creams. And here's the downside of picking, squeezing, or mm, popping yes. acne. We all try. More scarring, more we scarring. all attempt to do that, don't we? <laughs> and family history. History, that's huge. That is a big um, contributor, but again, nowadays children are getting acne and no one in the family had it. I do think there's an association with our diets. You know, now we have a lot more foods that are processed, high on the glycemic index. So that in the body, this spike in blood sugar, when it drops, it releases cortisol, which is that inflammatory hormone, and it triggers a lot of these processes. But I rarely, I don't even tell my patients that you can't be eating these foods because I don't think they'll ever come back.